Mr. Trump, you've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Count Only Rosie several. O'Donnell. Your Twitter account. It was well beyond Rosie O'Donnell. Yes, I'm sure it was. Your Twitter account has several disparaging comments about women's looks. You once told a contestant on Celebrity Apprentice it would be a pretty picture to see her on her knees. You once told a contestant on Celebrity Apprentice it would be a pretty picture to see her on her knees. Does that sound to you like the temperament of a man we should elect as president? And how will you answer the charge from Hillary Clinton, who is likely to be the Democratic nominee, that you are part of the war on women? I think the big problem this country has is being politically correct. I've been... I've been challenged by so many people, and I don't frankly have time for total political correctness. And to be honest with you, this country doesn't have time either. This country is in big trouble. We don't win anymore. We lose to China. We lose to Mexico, both in trade and at the border. We lose to everybody. And frankly, what I say, and oftentimes it's fun, it's kidding, we have a good time. What I say is what I say. And honestly, Megan, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I've been very nice to you, although I could probably maybe not be based on the way you have treated me, but I wouldn't do that. But you know what? We, we need strength, we need energy, we need quickness, and we need brain in this country to turn it around. That I can tell you right now. Like it or not, Donald Trump is there's a huge disparity between the poll numbers that you have and the poll numbers that he has. Um, given also the fact that you know, Rudy Giuliani said he thought that there may be some Reagan qualities to Donald Trump. So Carly Fiorina, is he getting the better of you? Well, I don't know. I didn't get a phone call from Bill Clinton before I jumped in the race. Did any of you get a phone call from Bill Clinton? I didn't. Maybe it's because I hadn't given money to the foundation or donated to his wife's Senate campaign. Here's the thing that I would ask Donald Trump in all seriousness. He is the party's front runner right now and good for him. I think he's tapped into an anger that people feel. They're sick of politics as usual. You know, whatever your issue, your cause, the festering problem you hoped would be resolved, the political class has failed you. That's just a fact, and that's what Donald Trump taps into. I would also just say this, since he has changed his mind on amnesty, on health care, and on abortion, I would just ask what are the principles by which he will govern? That the Mexican government is doing this, but that you have evidence that the Mexican government is doing this, but that you have evidence you have refused or declined to share. Why not use this first Republican presidential debate to share your proof with the American people? So, if it weren't for me, you wouldn't even be talking about illegal immigration, Chris. You wouldn't even be talking about it. This was not a subject that was on anybody's mind until I brought it up at my announcement, and I said, Mexico is sending. Except the reporters, because they're a very dishonest lot, generally speaking, in the world of politics, they didn't cover my statement the way I said it. The fact is, since then, many killings, murders, crime, drugs pouring across the border, our money going out and the drugs coming in. And I said, we need to build a wall, and it has to be built quickly. And I don't mind having a big, beautiful door in that wall so that people can come into this country legally. But we need, Jeb, to build a wall. We need to keep illegals out. Uh, Mr. Trump. Question on the U.S. Supreme Court. We need to begin by undoing, I would begin by undoing a whole set of things that President Obama has done, whether it's illegal amnesty or this latest round of EPA regulations. But let me go back to something that's very important. We have been debating right here the core difference between conservatism and progressivism. Conservatives, I am a conservative because I believe no one of us is any better than any other one of us. Every one of us is gifted by God, whether it is those poor babies being picked over 
over, or it's someone whose life is tangled up in a web of dependence. Progressives don't believe that. They believe some are smarter than others, some are better than others, so some are going to need to take care of others. That is the fight we have to Thank have, you. and we have to undo a whole set of things that President Obama has done that get at the heart of his disrespect and disregard for too many Americans. Governor Pataki. Uh, Bill, I... This level, Carly Fiorina, can you inspire this nation? This is a great nation. It is a unique nation in all of human history and on the face of the planet, because here our founders believed that everyone has a right to fulfill their potential, and that that right, they called it life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, comes from God and cannot be taken away by government. We have arrived at a point in our nation's history where the potential of this nation and too many Americans is being crushed by the weight, the power, the cost, the complexity, the ineptitude, the corruption of the federal government. And only someone who will challenge the status quo of Washington, D.C., can lead the resurgence of this great nation. I will do that. We're talking about tapping into historic uh, levels of... Worthy, no accomplishment. Mm. Secretive and untrustworthy. Well, let's go with three. Good at email. <laughs> Hillary Clinton lies about Benghazi, she lies about emails, she is still defending Planned Parenthood, and she is still her party's front runner. 2016 is going to be a fight between conservatism and a Democrat party that is undermining the very character of this nation. We need a nominee who is going to throw every punch, not poll punches, and someone who cannot stumble before he even gets into the ring. I am not a member of the political class. I am a conservative. I can win this job. I can do this job. I need your help. I need your support. I will, with your help and support, lead the resurgence of this great nation. Thank you.